All right, guys, the wait is finally over. I finally got my first graded cards right here in my hands. Uh, these are the cards that I did send to Mana Grading, which have been super awesome to have reached out and allowed me to send my cards to get graded for a good price. And if you guys also want to get your cards graded with them, make sure to use the code ELITEX. That will get you guys 20% off. And the more people that use my code, uh, they did tell me that if, if we can get a lot of people to use the code, they will probably give away some stuff for me to give away to you guys. So consider using that code. We might be able to get you guys some free stuff. But yeah, guys, let's talk a little bit about my experience so far with them and how long it took for me to get my cards back. Um, I mistakenly, when I first sent these out, I was super excited and I didn't really look at the time frame and I just thought, man, I'm going to get these back super quick. But no, it does take a while. And especially with the option that I chose, I chose the middle option, which, which is just their standard AI grading. The uh, return time for that is 10 to 12 days from when they received the cards, which is something that I didn't take into account. I thought it was going to be 10 to 12 days from the time that I sent the cards, but no. They do need that time to basically grade the cards that I sent them. So I sent them the cards like end of January or something like that. It took about five days to get to them. Then from then it took them exactly 10 days, which is the 10 to 12 days that they had originally told me uh, for them to start grading my cards. And then after that, it took about uh, two days for them to ship it out to me. And then from then on, it took another five days for me to finally get them. So in total, you're looking at about 22 days from the day you send your cards till the day that you get them back. So yeah, quite a long time. However, within that time frame, I also sent them one card to get graded, Warp Speed. And that one, I believe, is two to five days from the day that they receive it uh, for it to be graded. And again, the second day, which is the minimum time requirement, uh, they did start grading my card and it got shipped out in two days after that. So that one only took about 12 days, which is a big difference. It's almost cut in half. So you, if you guys want your cards graded fast, it will take around 12 days for you to get your cards back, which is definitely way better than waiting like, what is it, like 50 days if you send your cards to like PSA or something like that. It's just some ridiculous times just because they have so many things sent to them. Um, but I honestly, I like the look of these slabs, which is why I was comfortable sending my cards to Mana Grading and I can't wait to see what my grades are. So oh, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and see what my grades are, guys. We'll go to the hand cam and we'll get this show started. All right, guys, it's been all day. You guys don't know how hard it's been for me to not get this thing open. So super excited now that everyone's asleep. I can go ahead and open this up and it's pretty much like Christmas for me. So, all right, we got a box within a box. Uh, oh, what is this? Okay, so we got another little, what is this? This looks like a stack of, oh, okay. This is the, the top loaders that I sent them. So they did go ahead and send me my top loaders back. That's very nice of them. Um, so now I have some more stuff for my whatnot stream. But all right, here is the main box, Mana Grading. Let's go ahead and take a look at this first. They got Facebook, Instagram. Make sure to go follow them. Here's the front. I love the look of this box. It actually looks very nice. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and wait, what's going on here? I don't see any tape. Okay, there we go. We got it open. Ooh, okay, very fancy here. Our packaging is 100% recyclable. Keep me, send me back, reuse me. Then if we look at the top here, they left us a note. So it says, we love trading cards. We have done since we were kids, complete with our base set, Charizards and Blue Eyes in our pockets to go show our friends. Not because we were dumb kids, the opposite. We were players, we were traders, we were fans. Mana grading is built for TCG collectors by TCG collectors. That won't change. Thank you for grading with us, Matt, founder, Mana Grading. All right, super cool. So far, super impressed with everything so far. I love the packaging. Ooh, they even sent us some black tissue paper. Very nice. And here are the grades, guys. Oh my God. And I think that's gonna do it. Yep, that's it. They just have some additional packaging stuff in there. We're gonna close this up. Let's put this in the background. And again, don't forget guys, use my code ELITEX for 20% off. I'm gonna say that a few times within throughout this video just to show my appreciation and hopefully you guys enjoy this and you guys decide to create some cards for yourself. But, all right, let's go ahead and take this tape off. 
and very well packaged. Um, definitely way better than how I sent them my cards. <laughs> All right, okay, so, oh wait, okay, my bad. So this is the side, this is the top side, and then here's the back, okay, so there's the back. And down here, what do we have? Business cards, ooh, okay, it says right here that I can get additional three free grades just by liking their Facebook page, posting my grade on Instagram, Leaving a trust pilot review. I'll definitely do all of that because I definitely want to send some more cards. And then for more details on how to claim your free grades, visit monogreeting.com slash free stuff. Free stuff over here. Definitely keeping this card. Going to do all of that. And then here's the other business card. Thank you for supporting us. We have been working incredibly hard to deliver the best customer experience by ensuring your cards are always graded with incredible accuracy, speed, and care. Backed by cutting edge technology and a lifelong passion for TCG community. And yep, this is the their official business card. Very nice. And then here are the grades, guys. So I thought they were all going to be in this sort of like silver um, or bag here. But this is my wonder trade. I forgot that um, if you send at least 10 cards, you are able to do a wonder trade. And I did send in my Raihan. We'll see what we get back from them. Somebody is going to enjoy my Raihan. Um, I'd be curious if you guys send in some cards. Let me know if you guys get that. But we're going to save this for last. And we're going to go into my cards right here. Starting off with Pokemon. And wow, look, even the back. Look at that, guys. I know my setup here, my lighting isn't the best. So you guys might not be able to see it. But I think this is a perfect 10, if I recall correctly like this type of shine right here is a flawless 10 so let's see if i am right and oh no this is definitely not a flawless 10 we got a seven for centering but is my lugia v star i love this card so what did i get did i still get a did i get like a 9.5 or something everything else is a 10 we still got the gold and we still have the shine here on the back and we got what a 10 gem mint 10 with centering seven huh all right guys so i just checked their website and yes they do say that anything that scores a 10 on surfaces and edges will get you that gem mint 10 so as long as you can get a 10 on these two right here you will get this gold card so not that hard honestly so you these are the two main things you want to check before sending any of your cards to get graded if you see anything with the surface or the edges maybe consider not sending that card in but yeah this is an accurate grade. So I don't know how the grading works, but I guess these are more impactful towards your final grade. Definitely gonna have to message them and figure out what, what this is about, but I got a seven centering and I still got a 10 gym mint. All right, I'll take it. I think it looks really cool, especially with this V star that has a gold shine to it as well. Super glad with that 10 right there looks very nice all right let's go ahead and continue to the next pokemon card oh man unfortunately this one does not have the shine to it so i know what this is and i'm super sad that i didn't get a 10 on this one. Oh man so what did i get what did i get so here's my charizard v star uh we got eight centering nine edges surfaces 9.5 corner 7.5 and we got an 8.5 excellent Oh man, super bummed out about this one, but I love this card. Damn, I wish they would have. Imagine this would have looked much better with that text up there. But but yeah, let's take a look at the centering. This, I mean, to me, the centering doesn't look that bad, to be honest. Uh, and then the surfaces, 9.5, corners, 7.5. Okay, I can see why maybe here, this corner seems like it's a bit cut off. So I'm learning a little bit more about what are the better cards to send graded. I might have to hit up my friend Hit. He has a UPC that he's been trying to sell forever. Maybe I can get a second chance. I buy that UPC off of him and send another one of these to get graded. But 8.5, still not bad, excellent. Um, we'll see what we get from the Mewtwo V-Star. So we should still have another Pokemon card here. Unless they're gonna send that separate since that was a separate order. I'm still not too sure, to be honest. Uh, but that's the second card right there. Next up, we're going into my Naruto Caillou. Again, no shine here, so we didn't get a 10 or a 9.5. But this card is my OR. We got a 9.5, 9.5, 10, and 10. This right here is a 9.5 mint. Okay, 
I thought the 9.5 still had the gold and the shine to it, but I guess not. So here's that Donzo OR. I'm happy with a 9.5. I'm great for him. Moving on. Damn it. So my grades aren't the greatest. So far, we've only had 110, and I don't even know if it's an error. But here is my MR Might Guy. Love this card. Let's see what we got for the grade here. So 9.5, 9.5, 10, and 10. So again, this is going to be another 9.5 beautiful card love this wish we could have gotten a 10 on this one but i'll take a 9.5 and then here is my mr kabuto again probably another 9.5 let's see so we got 10 9.5 9.5 10 uh, that's going to be another 9.5 for this mr love that card as well and dang so far no we've only gotten 110 mr whoops i already showed that one so mr itachi at least they match so these these are a set so they have the same grade so these will be displayed together thankfully they both match with the same grade as well uh, but for the subgrades they're a little bit different here we got tins for centering and surfaces and over here we got a 10 for centering and corners so yeah these are gonna look great next to a statue that i have planned for that one uh here's my madra or Let's see what we get here uh, we got 10 10 10 9.5 yes i don't understand this so i guess centering just doesn't matter as much as surfaces because 10 10 10 9.5 and not a 10 um very confused 9.5 mint so we're getting a lot of 9.5s here so i'm happy with the grades i'm just a little confused as far as like um how the grading works all right, and moving into this MR Sasuke, man, I love this card. This is one that I don't have any plans for a statue, and we did get a good grade here. We can tell off of the back and how it shines. So did we get a flawless though? And we got another 10. So this one has 10, 10, 10, 9.5, Jim Min 10. Oh my God, the gold text and everything with the MR and the gold foil on here. This looks beautiful, guys. So that is a perfect card right there. Definitely, I need a statue now so that I can display this card next to it. Beautiful, beautiful slab right here. All right, continuing on, we got, oh man, this is my favorite card and it didn't come back a 10. Super sad about this. So what did we get? We got 10, 10, 9.5, 9.5, giving us a 9.5 yet again. This one I wish was a 10, dude. This one would have looked awesome as well. Because this one I do have plans for a statue, but we got a 9.5. All right, moving on. Oh, okay. We got another Sasuke here. Uh, hopefully, okay, yes. Wait, actually, no, I don't know. I think, am I, am I missing something? Oh, no, I remember now. Uh, this one will be displayed next to the Donzo, which the Donzo we already saw, we got a 9.5. So two different grades. And here we got... A 9 for centering, 10 for everything else, giving us a Gem Mint 10. And again, MRs look beautiful with that Gem Mint 10, as you guys can see. So how does this look alongside the OR Donzo? So that's what they're going to look like. Definitely looks a little bit off just because the, the gold text over here and the white text over there on the right. So now I feel like I'm going to have to send another OR in to get graded to try and get that 10 to ma match the MR Sasuke. I don't have any duplicates for this one, so I'm going to have to pull some more cards and hopefully I can pull that one or maybe maybe I'll buy some singles. And then going into the second to last card, I know what this is. Uh, this is the one that they, well, I'm, I'm not going to mention it, but there was an issue with this card. They did fix it, hopefully. And this one I know is a 10. And again, centering 9.5, everything else a 10. And actually they didn't fix it. So it still says Naruto and Minato Uzumaki, Naruto Caillou Unlimited. Well, I talked to them about this on Instagram. They said they were gonna fix it and they didn't um, because yeah, obviously this, this is kid Naruto, adult Naruto. This is the image that Naruto set out for their 20th anniversary. So we, all of us Naruto fans know that that's both Naruto's. Um, but what they told me was that they probably copied this from one of their previous grades. Uh, so they also sent somebody else, somebody else, the same text here up top. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to message them and see what we can do about this. Um, and then finally, ooh, all right, guys. So this is my Mewtwo, and unfortunately, again, two different grades right here. But I'm happy to report that for this one, which is the card that like 
really difficult to pull. It took me forever to pull. I did pull it on a whatnot stream and I'm super glad that we got this at at least a 10. And here we have 10, 10, 10, 9.5 Mewtwo V-Star giving us a Gym Mint 10. Wow. Uh, let me pull out the other card over here. So man, 8.5 and a 10. Definitely gonna have to get another Charizard V-Star here, but look at them side by side. They look beautiful. This 10 right here looks awesome. So yeah, really happy with that. Uh, now let's go into the wonder trade and let's see what I got here. Um, super curious what I'm gonna be getting here. I wonder if it's gonna be Caillou or Pokemon. I guess we'll find out. And it is Pokemon. Unfortunately, not a 10, it is a Japanese card. So what are we gonna get here? And we got, all right, so we got the Rayquaza VMAX. Uh, this is from the Silver Tempest set. And we got 9.5, 9.5, corners 10, century nine, giving us a 9.5 gym mint. So yeah, I kind of regret sending my Raihan because I didn't realize that that card is part of the uh, Crown Zenith set and I haven't pulled him. So I wish I would have sent another card, but it was very hard to find a card valued at um, at least $25, which I don't know if this one is. It might be just because it's a Japanese card and I know those are valued a little bit higher, but it's a Rayquaza 9.5. I will take this card right here. So, all right guys, that's gonna be everything. Let's go ahead and review all of our cards again. So overall, not bad grades. The 8.5 being the worst for that Charizard. Everything else was a 9.5 and a 10. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 9.5s. And then we got one, two, three, four, and five gem mint tens. Unfortunately, no flawless tens, but uh, we still got a good amount of tens right here. Um, a, a very much, a lot of 9.5s, and then unfortunately our worst grade here being an 8.5. But yeah, guys, that was definitely fun. I definitely plan to send more cards to get graded. Uh, let me know your thoughts as far as what you thought about these. I know these guys are newer when it comes to grading Naruto Caillou. They just started grading these recently, so I can understand this error right here. And I'm not mad about it. I'm still happy with the grade. So uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm still enjoying the slab, so I'm definitely going to be sending more to them to get graded. And again, if you guys want to send any cards to get graded, don't forget to use my promo code ELITEX for 20% off. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.